Hi, in this video, we'll be going over how to find the equation of a perpendicular bisector to a line segment. So here I have two points and I'm going to label them for convenience. I'm going to call this one x1, y1, and this one x2, y2. And it actually doesn't matter if I chose to make this x2, y2, and this one x1, y1, as long as I'm consistent with my numbering. All right, so a bisector means that this is a line segment that's going to cut this line segment right in the middle. So we know just from that point that we are going to need the midpoint. And remember that the midpoint formula is the average of the x's, so x1 plus x2 over 2, comma, the average of the y's, so y1 plus y2 over 2. And so when we plug that in, we get negative 10 plus negative 14 over 2, comma, negative 8 plus 8 over 2. And simplifying that, we get negative 24 over 2, comma, 0 over 2, which then gives us negative 12, comma, 0. And so now we see that that's that point right here, right in the middle of that segment, which makes sense. Now, in order to find the equation of a line, we need a point and we need a slope. So we do have this line here. We don't have the slope yet, but we can find it using the equation for slope, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so plugging these numbers in that we have here, we have y2 is 8, so 8 minus negative 8 over negative 14 minus negative 10. And so simplifying that, we get 16 over negative 14 plus 10. So that gives us 16 over negative 4, ultimately giving us negative 4. Now that is the slope of this line, which is helpful, but it's not the slope that we need. We need the perpendicular slope because we're looking for the line or the line segment that goes through this point perpendicularly, if that's a word. All right, so you may recall that perpendicular slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. So I'm going to write this here, perpendicular slope equals, and so we have negative four here, which really is negative four over one, if we flip that and change the sign, we get 1 over 4. So the perpendicular slope is 1 fourth. Now we have two things that we need. We have a slope and we have a point. And that's all we need in order to plug into y equals mx plus b in order to find b. So with our point, we have, let's label this x and y, we have 0 is equal to 1 fourth x is negative 12 plus b. Now we can solve for b. And so we get that 0 is equal to negative 3 plus b, and b is equal to 3. Once you have that b is equal to 3, and we have the slope as 1 fourth, now we can just plug it in to our final equation, y equals mx plus b. We plug in the m, which is 1 fourth, and the b, which is 3, and we get that y is equal to 1 fourth x plus 3. And always good to check what that looks like, so let's use a different color. And so our y-intercept is 3, and our slope is 1 fourth. So we go down 1 and over 4, down 1 and over 4, down 1 and over 4, and it is in fact hitting that line, and it is in fact perpendicular. So that's a great way to check that we do have the right answer. And so that's the equation of my perpendicular bisector.